Paris has got some big plans for Notre Dame. They are rebuilding the iconic Gothic cathedral after that insane fire back in 2019. Crews are working hard to strengthen the entire structure with high-tech sensors and scanners. They are doing this to minimize future risk. And by this level of insane technology, Notre Dame is designed to stand tall for many more years. Do you think this ambitious vision to restore the medieval masterpiece is possible? And would France be able to recreate Notre Dame in all its historic glory? Keep watching to find out, but before we go any further, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our daily dose of informational and awe-inspiring videos. You've probably seen that viral video of Notre Dame's roof just going up in flames. Yes, it's the same incident that occurred on April 15th, 2019, where a massive fire flashed through Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris faster than anyone could imagine. This famous church was over 850 years old, but flames tore through its wooden roof and toppled the tall spire in just minutes. Millions of people watched in shock as this historic building was swallowed by fire. Firefighters rushed over but couldn't stop the destruction, and by morning the roof was gone, the spire collapsed, and the inside damaged. This beloved symbol of Paris and all of France wasn't just any old church. You should have seen how kings and emperors had ceremonies there back then. Although consumed by fire, you wouldn't believe how strong this structure was before the 2019 incident. During wars, it stood strong when the city was attacked, and the beautiful stained glass art and architecture made it incredibly special. Now this precious landmark built in the medieval times was partly destroyed in a single night. Many people feared Notre Dame and its important place in French culture might be lost forever. But here is the game changer. Plans already began to rebuild what was burned down. With this plan, new wood and statues would recreate what was lost, and advanced technology would protect it better. Paris wants to restore Notre Dame to its historic glory once more. Given that Notre Dame had survived over 800 years of history, did it rise again after this shocking fire? Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. With that said, let's explore. Get this, Notre Dame Cathedral has stood at the heart of Paris since the 12th century. It took over 100 years to build. Construction started in 1163. The Gothic-style cathedral was finally completed by around 1250. Inside, you won't believe it. Notre Dame houses priceless relics like stained glass masterpieces and a huge pipe organ from 1395. Over the centuries, major events happened there, like French kings getting crowned. But check this out. During the French Revolution, angry mobs ransacked Notre Dame and beheaded its sculptures. Later, Napoleon was crowned emperor there in 1804. During wars in the 1800s, the cathedral survived damage. But here's the game changer. Victor Hugo's novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, made Notre Dame super famous and helped save it from demolition. Hugo was a total lifesaver for the cathedral. Even through World War II's destruction, the cathedral kept holding services. Notre Dame underwent restorations but endured as an iconic Parisian landmark. Before the tragic 2019 fire, over 13 million people visited annually to see its spectacular Gothic architecture. So what caused the fire? The fire started in the evening around 6.30 p.m. local time. It began in the attic area underneath the roof. The cathedral roof was made of very old oak wood beams, but it's quite sad how this wood quickly caught fire and spread very fast. Within 30 minutes, the fire grew very large and spread through the roof. Flames and thick smoke were seen coming from Notre Dame's roof. The smoke could be seen from all over Paris. Sadly, the wooden roof beams, frame and interior scaffolding were burned. Then, the tall 90-meter spire at the top of the cathedral collapsed. Get this, the fire also spread down into the cathedral interior. The nave, which is the central part where people sit for church services, suffered extensive damage. Some other parts with important art and objects were protected by firefighters and saved from the fire. But the fire still burned for many more hours, destroying the roof completely. By the next morning on April 16th, the fire was finally fully extinguished after burning over 12 hours through the night. 
Two thirds of the roof was destroyed. The spire fell through the ceiling and much equipment and interior furnishings were lost. But the main stone structure, two bell towers and the cathedral facade were saved. Imagine how 400 firemen who worked to put out the fire would have saved many stained glass windows. They had to be very careful spraying water so the stone walls did not crack from heat. In the end, Notre Dame survived the massive fire, but suffered heavy damage that will take years to fully repair. But the decorated stone parts like the towers, walls, and the front of the cathedral remained standing. Now, get this. The Notre Dame fire shocked the world. Images of the 850-year-old cathedral burning led to an immediate outpouring of grief and dismay on social media. Hundreds of Parisians sang hymns and wept as they watched the blaze. You wouldn't believe the French president had to postpone a speech to visit the site, calling it a terrible tragedy. The fire made headlines globally as a devastating loss of heritage. But here is where things get more interesting. Experts estimated repairs could take decades and cost billions. But a common spirit of hope also emerged, as France vowed to restore the beloved Notre Dame. You wouldn't believe the specific cause of the fire remains undetermined after four years. The leading theory is an electrical short circuit or faulty wiring related to the renovation work happening at the time. In the days before the fire, there had been 16 alerts of fire alarms due to glitches in the electrical system being upgraded. This suggests the system was temperamental. But that's not all. Multiple negligence investigations and lawsuits have been opened to determine accountability. And the main focus, the contracting companies doing renovation and the church oversight. Still, no single factor or party has been officially deemed responsible yet. But here is the game changer. In 2021, church, contractor and electronics company representatives were questioned by investigators after a criminal complaint was filed over the fire. Complicating factors include renovations spread across multiple areas, various contractors involved, and the old building infrastructure. Some people argued that the timing right before Easter was suspicious and could point to deliberate arson. This is because there were some security lapses in the days prior that could have allowed access to start a fire. But no direct evidence connects this to arson. Even more suspicious was the speed at which the fire spread, which has raised questions from some about whether accelerants were used. But fire experts say the dry wood structure was extremely combustible. While some argue the fire could have been deliberate, the bulk of evidence and official conclusions point towards this being a tragic accident. Now check this out. After the devastating 2019 fire, restoring Notre Dame Cathedral began urgently. Teams installed temporary supports to shore up the unstable, damaged walls and ceilings. They carefully removed tons of charred debris containing hazardous lead dust. In the months after, experts assessed damage using 3D modeling to plan reconstruction. Some debated adapting a new design, but the preference was preserving the authentic appearance. And by 2020, the bulk of the planning was complete and rebuilding started. So what was the plan? The first major milestone involved the rebuilding of the roof, woodwork, spire structure, and stonework. The carpenters used ancient techniques to rebuild the woodwork, which has been completed. But work is probably still ongoing on the spire and stonework. Get this, replacing the ancient oak frame that supported the roof and spire has been a massive undertaking as finding adequate centuries-old oak timber supplies has proven challenging. Approximately 2,000 specialists have worked to restore the Notre Dame Cathedral. After the exterior is restored, focus will shift to the interior in the estimated time frame of 2021 to 2024. This will involve cleaning the interior walls and art of smoke and lead dust, as well as returning salvaged sculptures paintings and other artifacts to their rightful place in the cathedral. The team aims to reopen the cathedral to worshippers by 2024, meeting an important milestone. From 2024 to 2027, the final steps are expected to include installing updated electrical, heating and fire protection systems, as well as meticulously finishing the new 19th century spire to resemble the old as closely as possible. 
The restoration of Notre Dame is utilizing a blend of cutting-edge modern technologies and ancient medieval techniques. Interestingly, 3D laser scanning and modeling have mapped out the entire cathedral prior to restoration. So the detailed 3D maps allowed engineers to digitally plan the complex dismantling and reconstruction process. Even more interesting is the use of specialized robotics and robotic arms to clean residue from fragile interior surfaces. And the CNC stone cutting machines are replicating damaged decorative elements to match the original medieval designs. Now let's talk about the finances. Notre Dame restoration requires an estimated budget of $865 million. Major donations were given by billionaires François-Henri Pinault and Bernard Arnault. And fundraising campaigns by foundations have also engaged citizens and raised tens of millions. Even the French government has contributed over $400 million. However, high costs are projected for reconstructing the oak frame and spire. But the generous public and private funding aims to revive this historic cathedral. So what happened after the devastating fire? Teams worked quickly to safely retrieve and preserve invaluable relics and works of art inside the cathedral. This included medieval reliquaries, sculptures, paintings and liturgical items. A human chain of emergency responders formed to gently pass these threatened artifacts out of the church to be transferred for temporary storage and restoration. Particular attention went to preserving surviving fragments of Christ's crown of thorns, one of Notre Dame's most precious relics. Other religious artifacts rescued include a tunic believed to have been worn by St. Louis in the 13th century. The large 18th century paintings depicting St. Genevieve were cut from their frames to be transported for restoration work off-site. Assessments after the fire showed many of Notre Dame's most famous artworks, like the rose windows, survived relatively intact. During the post-fire debris removal, two undocumented lead sarcophagi were uncovered in the cathedral crypt, containing remarkably well-preserved medieval remains. Get this. After restoration likely finishes in 2024, Notre Dame might again host religious services and welcome over 13 million yearly visitors as it did before the fire. The revived cathedral may become a monument to restoration and conservation triumphing over disaster. And the meticulous restoration can serve as a model for conserving other historic buildings worldwide. It won't come as a surprise if the new fire safety standards implemented influence building codes. Overall, Notre Dame's rebirth may prompt greater appreciation of architectural heritage. While resuming its former grandeur, the cathedral could gain new cultural meaning, elevating the importance of protecting beloved historic sites. Although in 2019, fire ravaged Notre Dame as the world watched in shock, now, years later, we marvel at the monumental revival underway. Robots aid engineers in stabilizing and decontaminating the fragile structure. Stone by stone, wood beam by wood beam, the cathedral is reinvented with ancient and cutting edge techniques. What unique significance will Notre Dame hold for you? For some, it's a Catholic pilgrimage site. For others, a French national symbol. As Notre Dame takes its next place in history, share your perspective on its enduring legacy in the comments. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring.